Hey guys, what's going on? It's January 28th, 2020, and I'm going to talk about just the latest with the Big Club Network. So many of you on my station are subscribed because of Bit Club, so I thought it's important just to continue to make videos about Bit Club, Bit Club Network, and anything that's going on in this space. So obviously it's super unfortunate what is going on. I've been reading every single article that comes out with Bit, about Bit Club Network. Uh, the latest that came out was uh, seven hours ago, Montana Crypto Mine back in action despite owners' uncertain legal fate. So let's let's read this together. A cryptocurrency mine in Butte, Montana fired up its servers today, resuming business without its former owner, an alleged fraudster. And alleged is still the key word here. There has there have been no convictions. So it's important to keep that in mind before we start throwing out convictions. So after a legal appearance on the matter, part, over, part owner Kevin Washington and operator Rick Tavish started up crypto mining business CryptoWatt once again, pulling the operation out of retirement according to a January 27 press release. Authorities closed down CryptoWatt after jailing its owner, Matthew, and I never know how to pronounce his last name, Matthew G., on a separate fraud account totaling $722 million. This was the obviously the Big Club Network uh, fraud that, that is being looked into right now. Although Mr. G owned more than 50% of CryptoWatt, he was not taken into custody for dealing relations to that business. G, along with four individuals, ran the cryptocurrency investment club named Big Club Network. Obviously, we know that. That's why we're talking about that. Which through which the group allegedly swind allegedly swindled millions. Rick Tavish ran CryptoWatt under under G's ownership of the site, unaware of the owner's fraudulent endeavors with the unconnected Big Club network. G also carries significant debt owned owed to Tavish. So, let's see. Regarding reopening, Tavish told the Montana Standard, "Quote: If the facility shuts down, we all lose." I want to protect the integrity of the facility and the interests of our employees, the vendors, everybody who works there. Tavish also noted his willingness to bring the matter to court if need be, pointing out that the operation would would die if left shut down for too long. Obviously, if you're not mining and you just have you know hardware sitting there um, because it's not turned on, you're going to lose a lot of money. CryptoWatt started up again on January 26th. Uh, noted from a separate article from the Montana Standard, securing a lower power cost in the process. So that's good. I'm really happy about that. So basically, Rick Tavish and this company CryptoWatt were caught in the wake or caught in the kind of the turbulence of BitClub Network just because they were associated with one of the people, Gotch, who is being investigated. So I'm very happy that they were able to turn on their machinery, um, that Kevin Washington or whoever is involved, um, yeah, Kevin, part owner Kevin Washington and operator Rick Tavish, that they can now turn on their machines and start being profitable again. Um, I'm really happy about that because no, no one else should be kind of punished. I mean, I get that authorities are going to be looking into this because, you know, it says that let me see. He owned over 50%. Yeah. I mean, someone who was investigated for a $722 billion fraud or million dollar fraud is a, over a 50% owner. Of course, that company is going to be investigated and looked at carefully. But I'm glad that they were able to uh, turn on their machines and ultimately, uh, hopefully, still be profitable in the mining space. Um, just to go over a couple things, guys. So, unfortunately, <clears throat> this site is probably forever. Um, down. It's never. It's probably never coming back. I mean, unless Bit Club seems to redeem itself. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about Joby. I don't know him personally. I talked to him on the phone a few times, or at least once. And I, I'm not going to talk bad about him, I, be, just because nothing is. You know, he's not convicted yet. He's being looked into, and you know, you can read all. The, you can read all the stories. Um, Everybody who knows Joby personally thinks he's a really, really great guy. Um, and that doesn't mean what he did or what he didn't do. But uh, one video that did not age well, though, 
is him talking, um, I think he's like 38, 39 now, maybe 40. So I mean, this is like, you know, 16, 17 years ago. Uh, let me play. Well, actually, go ahead, go ahead and uh, if you, if you want to watch this video, go ahead and check it out. Uh, just go ahead and search this. And he basically says as when he was class president of his high school, um, he took the money and I think he said he went to Vegas or something. I'm not, I, I, I forgot exactly what he did. But he basically took money and gambled with it or took money and just had fun with it. And uh, it, it just doesn't age well with what's going on right now. Um, you know, talking about all about Christianity and and that kind of stuff. It's 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 an interesting video. Uh, you can see he's he's incredibly charismatic. Um, he's he has one of these personalities where you want to be a part of what he's doing, and and that's and that's part of why he was incredibly successful, not with Bit Club, but you know, obviously he's very successful at 22 years old. So, you know, whatever happens to him, I I I, I hope you know what happens happens fairly and justly, but I don't, I don't wish any harm upon this guy. Um, but we shall see. So go ahead and watch this video if you'd like. It's actually pretty funny. Um, I've talked about this a few times in other videos, <clears throat> but Bitmain, since they were associated with BitClub Network, uh, they were providing BitClub with the machinery that they had to halt their IPO, which is unfortunate. I mean, unless, unless say BitClub is found to be guilty, or these people are found to be guilty uh, in the set in the in the settlement in the case, and Bitmain was somehow a part of, I don't know, faking financials or, you know, faking documents of sales or whatever. Then you know, screw Bitmain. They deserve to you know be shut down or whatever. But Bitmain is a huge seller of mining equipment. I mean, they're I believe they are the biggest. So for them to be, if they were to be shut down, or if Bitmain were to be completely um, taken out of the market, I mean, it, it could really affect Bitcoin's price. It could really affect the entire space. They are a huge player. So um, I hope that doesn't happen. That's that's not my plan to happen. <clears throat> but um, yeah, they definitely have not been able to. Uh, head up with their IPO just because they were under federal investigation for being involved with BitClub Network. So uh, pretty crazy stuff there. Um, this other interesting one is <laughs> Richard Branson. So a lot of people are using, hmm, obviously this is why it came up, because um, Joby, you know, hung out with Richard Branson and use his, and a lot of people, and Richard Branson is saying like, hey, if you see a picture with me of somebody else, it doesn't mean that I am promoting what they are offering. Um, Richard Branson is one of these guys who, you know, just like a lot of celebrities, they take pictures with everyone. Um, but, you know, BitClub, this was used in some of in some promotional material. Material, material sorry, um, probably, obviously not. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know if Richard Branson knew exactly what his picture was like on the website of, but. Um, yeah, so just be aware when you see Richard Branson on pictures of things. So let's see here. So yeah, this picture was of 2016. Uh, a, supposedly the photo was then used by Joby to in, to endorse Big Club Network. Um, I don't know if that was entirely entirely true, or, but it, it's it, you know when you show somebody like, hey, I represent this company, and hey, I'm with this cool celebrity people's mind unconsciously say, oh, therefore the celebrity also endorses this company. But that I, I haven't seen, I never saw any material where Joby was like, hey, Richard Branson is a promoter of Big Club Network. Like, no, um, I believe Big Club, I believe um, uh, Richard Branson is a big promoter of cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. That's not a surprise. But I, I never saw that. I, or I never saw any written claims that says like, hey, you know, like, come join Big Club Network because Richard Branson's a member. Like, no. But people put those things together. Um, but it wasn't explicitly, like, said or talked about or anything. So just heading over to the hash rate, you know, I miss, you know, it was it was fun seeing Big Club Network on here. Um, obviously, they will never be on here again. Um, it's unfortunate. But you know, life goes on. We got to move on. And I happen to check this all the time. Uh, 
this is the official United States DOJ, DOJ Department of Justice. Um, and these haven't changed in a long time. So I actually don't know the latest. Um, I'm getting updates on Google anytime a lot of these keywords get kind of hit, you're used with articles. I have a Google alert set up, so I'm very on top of it. But, um, you know, none of these have been updated and it's been, it's way past January 15th. So um, I, I actually have no idea what happened. I don't know what's been, what's going on here. Um, no public articles are coming out. And I'm definitely not going to start like harassing the spouses of these people. Like that would just be so messed up to do that. So um, I don't know what happened on January 15th. I don't know the next step. Um, I mean, I did I did hear that Joby was a flight risk, so they did not um, let him. They basically detained. It says here detained pending bond hearing, so they didn't let him have bail because. You know, he had too many videos talking about these, you know, starting countries and Malta and Lieberland and all these and all these uh, places where you know he, free independent nations that don't have any juris that that the U.S. or no nations have any jurisdiction where everything's in cryptocurrency. So he unfortunately was way too public with a lot of his ideas. So they thought he would be a flight risk. Thus, they didn't, even though he wasn't. Um, he wasn't like a threat to himself. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't a dangerous. He wasn't going to like kill somebody or you know, none of that. They, they had a very, and apparently they don't do this very often. Um, they did not allow him to leave prison. Like he had to be in jail or in prison or in custody um, with no bail because they literally thought he would just take off, which <laughs> I don't know if he would have. Um, it wouldn't have surprised me because he was very into, you know, freedom, independence, libertarian, anarchy, and all this stuff. So, unfortunately, what he was such a proponent of is what unfortunately backfired, at least at least when this happened, because they're like, oh, he's a huge anarchist, and and granted, most pe most people still think that anar if you're an, you know anarcho capitalist, they have no idea what that means, or if you're an anarchist, it means that you're gonna, I don't know break windows and, and be, you know, make a bunch of trouble. Unfortunately, most people don't actually know the history or, or what, you know, you know, you know, anarchism is and you know all that kind of stuff. But he just had too many videos <laughs> where he made himself look like he was about to jump on a private plane if you know, so, but again, I have no idea. I have no idea what happens. I check this pretty much every day. I'm a little bit obsessed. And uh, if any of you guys know, uh, or have any information about what happened at this arrangement, uh, let me know. Um, I'm very curious. And um, yeah, it's a bummer what happened. It's a, it's a total bummer. Um, and I think that even if uh, Big Club or all these people are found to be not guilty, that there will not be a way that Big Club can redeem itself. Nobody would begin investing with a company that was under, you know, under basically federal prosecution. So that is where we are with Big Club Network right now. And um, yep, talk with you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.